I'm stunned that Dua Lipa and Little Mix are not in my top five. Honestly, Little Mix, please forgive me. I know that I've let myself down, I've let you down. I've let, honestly, the whole of society down by not having you in my top five. Hi babes, it's me, Tia Coffee, and this is my Spotify Wrapped 2021 with Attitude Magazine. So one of my top tracks of the year has to be Little Mix, No. They are icons, they will persist throughout eternity. Another one of my absolute faves has to be Bed by Ray. Now Ray, gorgeous, stunning. Love a little curly girl moment, you know what I mean? And where better to listen to the song than when you're in bed? Really gets you in the mood, do you know what I mean? Saucy. Another of my absolute faves of the year has to be Don't Lose Your Head from Six the Musical. I am a massive musical theatre fan. I've been obsessed with Six for years and years. Now, another one of my faves has to be Bitch on Heels by The Vivian, the winner of series one of RuPaul's Drag Race, who I'm now lucky enough to call my friend. Another one of my top songs has to be the Volturi Waltz from the Twilight soundtrack. Now I know, unexpected. It's a film soundtrack moment, but I absolutely love Twilight so much. I am the glamorous geek of drag after all. So anything from Twilight, anything from The Hunger Games, anything from that genre of film is absolutely gonna be one of my top songs of the year. One of my top songs this year was the theme from Fable Legends The Rosewood, which is a video game. Now, I am not much of a gamer myself, but I just love to bring the drama in. And trust me, there is nothing more dramatic than a video game soundtrack. Honestly, if you're just strutting around your house, cooking something up, popping the kettle on, eating a pot noodle, whatever it is that you do with your life, pop on something from a video game soundtrack. It'll make everything feel like heightened, dramatic, and a bit over the top. Me, over the top, never. I discovered a lot of my new music this year through friends making recommendations to me. Me and my mates, we love to share a bit of music, do you know what I mean? Have a little boogie, have a party. And that's one of the main ways that I've sort of discovered new music through sort of sharing Spotify playlists with my mates. If I had to choose one of my top songs from the year to lip sync to my life to, I'd probably go for Don't Lose Your Head from Six the Musical, because I reckon I'd be the only one who could pull it off. Do you know what I mean? What other diva's gonna send me home to a camp musical theatre song? No one. Maybe Kitty Scott Claus, but apart from her, no one. I'm honestly stunned that there isn't any S Club Junior slash S Club 8 in my top songs of the year. Because honestly, all I listen to in my spare time is Sundown by S Club 8. I promise you, it's, it's an absolute bop. Go and listen to it now. Can we get an S Club 8 reunion? Is that something Spotify can facilitate for me? Thank you. A song that definitely helped me through 2021 would have to be Dua Lipa, Don't Start Now. Why? Because it was my first lip sync on Drag Race UK Series 2. I won, sent Estina home. Sorry, Estina. Just gave me the strength to sort of like power through and do my best. One of my top artists of this year, unexpectedly, is Biffy Clyro, because who doesn't like a bit of classic Scottish rock? No, Biffy Clyro literally takes me back to my school days when me and a couple of my friends were like absolutely obsessed, listening to many of horror on repeat all the time. Shout out to Nitya, love you. Uh, but we used to listen to it all the time, and apparently I still do, which is gorgeous. It's taking me back to my teenage years. Another one of my top artists is Ben Platt. Now, if we haven't established it yet, I love a bit of musical theatre. And Ben Platt has one of the most gorgeous musical theatre voices I've ever heard. Another one of my top artists is Muse. I do love a bit of Muse. Time is Running Out is one of my all-time favourite songs. So I'm listening to that 
on repeat all day, every day, honestly. Really gets the drama out, really gets sort of like you fighting through the rest of the day. If you wake up and you choose violence, put on a bit of Muse. M&EK is another one of my top artists of this year because honestly, they are one of the most talented people I've ever encountered, ever. The production, the songwriting skills, and I might be biased, but also, also a British Nigerian. So we've got that in common. Love you. I discovered Biffy Clyro through my friend at school introducing me to the album and I was absolutely obsessed from that point onwards. We just sort of like walk around at break time, singing a bit of Biffy, sharing headphones on a Discman. Now just gonna give you a little context, a Discman was what existed before Spotify. You used to have to put an actual CD in a player and play it. Now you can just play it on your phones. That's convenience, that's luxury, that's privilege. Thanks, Spotify. I'm stunned that Dua Lipa and Little Mix are not in my top five. Honestly, Little Mix, please forgive me. I know that I've let myself down, I've let you down. I've let, honestly, the whole of society down by not having you in my top five. Dua Lipa, I literally call myself the Dua Lipa of drag. Do you know what I mean? So, stunned. Gobsmacked. Oh, for next year, I think the artist that we should definitely be keeping our eyes on would be July Jones. Honestly, big fan, serves it all the time on stage. So much energy, so much life, and representing your Balkan culture. We love to see it. My favourite LGBTQ plus artist of this year have to be Lil Nas X because like, that's everyone. That's all the time. They've literally taken over the universe. And also my mate Billy Cullum because Billy has really been serving the bops this year and some iconic music videos as well. So if you haven't listened to Billy, go check him out. My top genre of 2021 is Broadway, of course, because she is a musical theatre geek. And I've literally just been listening to musical theatre like the whole year, because that's the thing. Every Broadway show has a story, which means in any Broadway soundtrack, there's a song for you. If you're having a low moment, and you want to give it a bit of Heart of Stone from Six the Musical, you can cry your eyes out and live your inner Jane Seymour. The Broadway track that it would be my dream to perform would be Candy Store from Heather's because I want to be Heather Chandler so much. Iconic role, iconic song, really intense choreography. Do you know the girls have to practice that choreography every night before they go on stage because it's so hard. Think about that next time you're listening to the song. Right, all my favourite songs are my own, let's be honest. Um, but my other drag favourite songs, oh, I've got a mix. I love a bit of the Vivian. Uh, I love a bit of Priyanka from Drag Race Canada. Obviously, Mother Roo has some of the most iconic drag songs of all time. Oh, oh, I can't choose one. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, maybe RuPaul's Get To You from her Christmas album. Niche. Forty-four thousand minutes. That's a lot of minutes, isn't it? Can't believe I've listened to that much music this year. I've been busy. Where have I found the time? Mostly in the shower, I would say. Also while hoovering. It's a good moment for a little soundtrack. Do you know what I mean? Well, that is a lot of music. I hope that I get to listen to more music next year. Thanks for listening to my Spotify Wrap 2021 with Attitude Magazine. Please make sure that you like comment and you can check out my Spotify wrapped playlist for 2021. See you soon, babes.